Right, Taliota champs. Now, earlier in the year, I did review the MateBook Pro X or X Pro or, look, the flagship MateBook. I would strongly suggest you check out that review because that is a nice package. But that is Huawei's flagship. This thing here, the Huawei MateBook 14 220, is the more affordable option. And from what I can tell, really... To me, it looks like a premium flagship as well. So let's have a look at it. Let's unbox it, have a look at it. And we'll talk about what you get in this thing. Now, of course, it's packaged nicely. It is premium. And that's what gives me the premium feeling, right? It's all packaged nicely. I like that the power brick, which is basically like a mobile phone power adapter. That's awesome. I like that it's white. I like that the USB-C cable's white. And it does charge via USB-C. And when you open it up, you know you're getting something premium. Has that nice sort of dark grey look to it. And I mean, if I have a look at the specs here, you know, we're talking 15.9 millimeters thick, 1.53 kilos. So that's just over three pounds. Now with an Ultrabook, you want to be around that three pound mark. That's for a 13 inch Ultrabook. Well, this one's 14 inch, so it's just over three pounds. So it gets a tick there, IPS panel, a 1440p with 90% screen to body ratio, 3 by 2 display, woof, that's what I'm talking about here, no 16 by 9 you know how small a 16 by 9 looks like, yeah, it's way too small. Now the screen is 300 nits brightness and 100% sRGB, now compared to the Pro version, it's not quite as bright but it still looks amazing. I think you have a look at that display. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? It comes with Intel's 10th generation CPU, so you can get an i5, i7. These are the U parts. So they're not the Ice Lake parts, but the good thing is you get the MX350 graphics, a two gigabyte graphics card, and that gives you the extra oomph. So you get the nice higher clock speeds of the U parts, plus some graphics that can actually help with content creation, you know, bit of gaming, etc. Up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3, my one here has 16 gigs also comes with a 56 watt hour battery and they claim around 14.7 hours you know continuous playback 1080p i will put that to the test you know bluetooth 5 2x2 mimo wi-fi yeah so woof i mean that's flagship quality here the build quality is flagship quality all the components are pretty much flagship quality maybe a bit of display not being quite as bright as the pro that's the only thing i can pick on oh actually there are some other things too because if we have a look at the ports yeah you don't get thunderbolt 3 whereas the pro version you do get thunderbolt 3 but you do get usb type c that has display port out and charging you have usb type a 3.0 usb type a 2.0 combination audio jack and you get hdmi so no thunderbolt here so that sort of makes sense that's where the cost savings are and check out the description you'll be surprised at the price of this you know a premium package for a good value here that charger too is 65 watts and it's fast charging now one killer thing about this is if you have a huawei phone you can do the huawei share which if you don't know is just like a superior version of apple airdrop i mean it does so much more than airdrop you can record the screen from one device to the other share files control the device from the laptop you can control the phone from the laptop that's cool that's the thing that separates this in the pc world get the huawei phone get the huawei laptop just seamless connection between the two that's one aspect i really love about this laptop so just yeah just looking at it it feels premium the actual keyboard feels very good the trackpad feels good as well you know these things you can usually tell straight away if they're no good sometimes it takes longer to find out the nuances of the trackpad and keyboard but you can tell a bad one straight away and this one feels pretty good you do get that webcam there privacy webcam yes it does look up at you but it's private and you also get a fingerprint reader here as well so I've got to say, considering this cost a lot less than the Pro, you get the premium parts, it looks premium, it feels premium. I don't think you're missing out on much and I can't wait to put it through its paces. 3x2 1440 display, that's just almost perfect. I mean, there is one thing better than 16x10, it's 3x2. So, you know, that's like the Surface products there and it does feel premium like the Surface products as well. So this is one of the most premium sort of, you know, ultra books you're going to get in the Windows segment. Stay tuned for for my full review i'll catch you in the next one guys tally ho